Um, I had my accident in 2004 when I was 18 years old. Before my accident, I had only finished year 12 the year before. Um, before my accident, I worked part-time at Safeway. When I was a pretty um, active and social person, I went out quite regularly to the pubs and clubs like most 18-year-olds do, had a lot of large circle of friends and acquaintances, was pretty active and I went to the gym, I uh, was into cars and motorbikes, so I rode dirt bikes a bit. Yeah, my accident, I lost control of a car and hit um, a pole, a telephone pole in the wet. I also met my case manager, Mike, who was also a wheelchair user. Um, I worked closely with him and found this very beneficial to have someone in a similar situation. I drive a 2005 Subaru Impreza. It has hand controls and an electric, electric seat. After I got my license and was able to get myself around, I thought, what am I going to do with myself in terms of work? So I applied for university and got accepted into health science social work at one H Peninsula campus, which is close to where I live. I completed a year of that course and then was accepted to transfer into occupational therapy. A highlight of um, since my injury has been completing the Bachelor of OT, I've volunteered for Peninsula Health and have worked in occupational rehab. Before my accident, I had never travelled or been overseas. Um, since my injury, I went on a cruise with family to Numea at the start of last year. And then at the end of last year, I went to Bali and obtained my um, certification open water diving license. Acquiring a spinal injury is less than ideal, but it's not the end of the world. It's a different way of doing things, but in time you'll, everyone generally manages to find their own way of doing things that fits in around their lives and what they want to do and achieve. I, um, I've had a few challenges like most people, everyone that has, acquires a spinal cord injury. I um, was employed and became unemployed more or less because the place I was working for wasn't able to uh, accommodate my disability or impairment too well. Um, that's probably that, that is why I'm looking at doing more study and changing the type of role I'll be doing. Yeah, I've got quite a few home modifications, like most people with a spinal injury have got. I've got an accessible uh, low floor, accessible bathroom. Um, I've got a platform lift, a new driveway, two new entrances. So if you'd like to uh, talk to me more about my story or any problems you might be having or any goals, feel free to uh, contact Spire or AQA and they'll put us in touch. Supporting people with spinal cord injury. It's about life.